Hello everybody and welcome to another YouTube video. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to print out colored text from Python to your default console or command prompt, depending on what operating system you are on. Now, this method is super simple to use, super easy to set up, and this will work on Mac, Windows and Linux for all of the default terminals. Now, this will likely work in some other terminals as well if you're using some special one, but I cannot guarantee that because the only thing that I've tested this on was Mac, Windows and Linux in those default consoles or terminal environments. So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that we need to do is actually install some module. It's called Coverama. Now quickly before we do that, you can see all of the different styles I'm going to show you how to create on the right hand side of my screen. Of course, there's more that you can create as well, but this was just to give you an idea of what this tutorial will actually do and kind of cover and, and show you what you'll be able to make afterwards. Anyways, let's start. The first thing that we need to do is actually install a Python module. Again, this is called Colorama. Now to do this, we're going to go to our command prompt or terminal, depending on what operating system you're on, and you're going to type the following line pip install Colorama like that. Now type that line and press enter. This should install Colorama for you. If for some reason this doesn't work, you can try the other following command, which is pip3 install Colorama. The reason you add the three here is because pip3 references Python 3 and on Linux and Mac specifically, usually you have a default Python 2 installed and the regular pip will reference that. So try both of these. If for some reason neither of these commands work for you, try the following Python hyphen M pip install Colorama like that. Same thing for this command. If that doesn't work with the default Python, then try Python three. Now this may work for you, but you might find, sorry, the default Python might work for you, but you might find when you try to import the module, it doesn't work. If that's the case, try again with Python three. If none of those work for you, I'll leave some links to some videos in the description and you can click on those and they will show you how to fix and reinstall your pip. So anyways, once we've got that, now what we need to do is actually start using this module. So you can see kind of how this works on the left hand side of my screen, all of the code here. But to make sure we don't confuse anyone, let's hop into a new file and I'll do this from scratch and show you exactly how this module works. So the first thing we're going to need to do in our new Python script is we're going to say import Colorama. Then we're going to say from Colorama import. We're going to import for we're going to import back and we're going to import style. Now for back and style stand for the following for is foreground back is background and while well, style is just style. So foreground will change your foreground color background will change your background color that will be like the highlight for the text and style will allow your text to either be bright dim or the normal kind of brightness for text in the terminal. Now the first thing that you always have to do when using the Colorama module is you have to say Colorama dot init like that. This will simply initialize the module and make sure that the color codes that are stored from these three classes or three things that we're importing are actually going to function properly within your terminal or console, whichever one you're using. Anyways, let me just show you actually how color coding text works in the terminal so you can understand what this module is really doing. So usually what you can do is you can take two lines that look like this. And if you're on an operating system like Linux or Mac, you should be able to, without actually installing this module, just print out this line. So you have this fancy character here. This actually stands for make our text red. And then you can concatenate it with some other text and all of the text after this character, whether it's on the same line or not, should be the color red. So I'll show you um, just by actually running this script, Python tutorial.py, that we get some red text by printing out this fancy character. And notice that I didn't really use anything from this module. But now watch what happens on Windows if I actually remove this colorama.init line. So if I remove that and I try to do this, notice that we get some weird characters printing out and well, that color code just isn't working. So usually on Mac and Linux, these color codes will work no problem. But on Windows, there's an issue in the terminal. So what Colorama actually does when you initialize it is it makes these color codes work. So all this module is really doing is making these color codes work for you specifically on Windows. And then it's going to allow you to just use some nicer ways of styling your text rather than having to kind of memorize or look up what these specific color codes are. So I can replace this color code here with the following four dot red like that. All this does is store the uh, color code that we just showed right there. And now if I print this out, we get the exact same thing, some red text. So I just wanted to show you that's what this module is doing. Now, by default, if I don't actually 
do something else, which I'll show you in a second. If I try to print out some more text after this red text, that text is going to show up red as well. The reason for that is as soon as we see this special character, it tells us that all of the text after this character should be red. Now, what this character right here is, is actually the clear character. So it will clear whatever style was currently stored. And that means that any text that comes after this will then be in the default styling. So if I put this before print hello, you can see when I run this that now we get this text and this is actually showing up properly. Now, if we want to avoid having to clear the style every time we want to use a new style on a new line, what we can do when we initialize colorama is we can say auto reset equals true. And this will automatically reset the color of the text every time we print one line. So now if I remove that clear character and I simply do this, we get some red text and then we get hello. So all you have to do is simply add this character before whatever text it is that you want to uh, you want to show up that color. So four dot red makes all this text show up red. Now, of course, there's a lot of other colors as well. In fact, let me bring in a list of all of them so that you can see these are the ones that you can use. So you have black, red, green, yellow. Let me move this over slightly. Uh, magenta, cyan, white, and then reset. And then same thing for all of these. So if you didn't have auto reset true, what you could do to avoid having to do that fancy reset character is you can simply say four dot reset like that. And well, this will reset the color for you. But since we have auto reset true, we don't need to do that. Anyways, let me show you some highlights and some other things as well. So I'm just going to say back dot and I guess let's go with scion like that and then we can add that to scion. Uh, let's go ahead and actually run this. Um, so now we get scion as the highlight color for that text. Some other things that we can do is we can change the brightness so we can say style dot and then I believe we can just say bright and add that to some bright text like that. And now if we run that in here, you can see that this text is a little bit brighter than the default text in the terminal. And of course, you can combine styles to combine different styles or different colors and highlights. What you can do is print something like four dot red plus back dot green plus and then we'll just say red text on green back. All right, we can go ahead and print that out. You can see we get red text on a green background. And because I am so nice, I've included a link to this code file in the description, which kind of shows you a bunch of different styles and the things that you can do. Inside of this, I'm simply using an F string instead of concatenating different strings. If you're not familiar with an F string, it works in any version of Python above 3.6 or equal to 3.6. But what you can do is simply type some expression inside of two curly braces like this, and it will just show up in the string. So if I did something like four dot red, and then I said red, then this would have a space and red text because it would simply ex uh, evaluate this expression and then put whatever its value is inside of the string. Anyways, hopefully this gives you an idea of how to highlight text. This will work again in Windows, Linux, and Mac OS, and this should work in your default terminal. Now, keep in mind, I'm just going to print out this right here. This actually does not work in my subline text terminal. So something to consider that this isn't going to work in every single terminal or console. It really depends which one you're using. Anyways, I hope that was helpful. If it was, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in another YouTube video.